Hi, welcome to Backlight. And so we just left off. We had done our front light. Let's go back to our top plan view, right? And so Backlight wants to come from behind people. It wants to sort of come over their shoulder, you know, back behind them. So what we're going to wind up doing is, is probably stepping back a pipe for each one of these. And we'll use a wash light, so we'll use a PAR. And the PAR that I want to use is this wide flood. It's the one that's got the little V shape in the front of it, right? And if you hover over it, it'll tell you what it is, right? ETC Source 4 PAR Wide Flood, right? And if I double click on that, right, for insertion, the um, downstage left area is going to want its backlight back here. Now, remember we hang lights at 18 inches apart. So if I, if I were to try and put that fixture right here, go in the middle, go in the middle, right? That's only nine inches away, and so it's too close. So what I want to do is make sure that I go to the long tick mark, and this time I want to point it down stage. I want to point it down to this area where it's going to go, and I can give it a label, and I'm just going to say back, down, left and then I'll go over to my center area. Now look, my center area is already occupied with a front light, so I just need to choose which way I'm going to go or what I'm going to do. And I'll tell you what, let's actually make a compromise. Let's go ahead and put our PAR right here on this 9 inch tick, tick mark and we'll point it downstage and you're saying, but Todd, it's too close. We'll call it back down center and what I'll do is I'm going to take this light and I'm just going to grab it and if you hover over the middle of it you see where I get an insertion point that's the point that I you know that you um, inserted the symbol and if you hover over it I get that little I can move you crosshair that little bullseye and if I just click and hold I can just slide it over and I'm going to slide it over to where it's on that 9 inch tick mark. That's where the 9 inch tick marks really come in handy is when you need to offset a fixture um, to allow for something. You're not hanging on perfect um, um, marks from the center out. You stagger them a little. So we've maintained our 18 inches there. Let's go ahead and put in another one. Let's put in this one and I think we went to the outside so we'll go to the outside here and we'll take it and I'll spin that light around until it's aimed downstage and that purpose is going to be back um, uh, down right enter okay so what I want you to do then is you're going to go ahead and where were we at? We were at that 10 foot 6 mark here, right? Actually, I bet we could go ahead and cheat into the 9 foot mark. We'll go ahead and put this one on the 9 foot mark and tip it down and this will be back uh, mid left, right? So on the 9 foot marks left and right and on the center mark of both the second and the third electric. I want you to go ahead and put in the rest of the mid-stage backlight and the rest of the upstage backlight and I'll be with you in a minute. 